Hello. Um, good afternoon. I hope everyone's having a good Tuesday because I am. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's so nice outside today. Um, it's really nice, actually. Um, I live in New York, by the way. New York is very nice outside today. The weather is perfect for jogging, running, riding bikes, or what have you. Anyway, let's get the show on the road. So we're on lesson two on um, ACMT training. If you saw my first video, it was it was about um, it's about battery procedures and battery safety, battery precautions, um, how to disassemble the battery from a MacBook Air. Um, disassembling a battery for a Mac, uh, an iPhone. So now that we know how to do disassemble batteries, for this video, I'm going to talk about the tools, the hardware tools that you need to open up a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Air, possibly an iPhone, an iMac, anything to do with Mac in general, just the tools that you, you will commonly need and what you commonly would need to do in order for you to open up any of those Apple products. So for today's agenda, we're going to talk about um, ESD, Electrostatic Discharge. We're going to talk about hardware tools for Apple. So Electrostatic Discharge. The discharge of static electricity near active electronical systems can cause memory corruption or temporary failures. It can cause irreparable damage to sensitive chips and printed circuitry of electronic components. We have ESD safety precautions. Handle all components by the edges. Ground yourself except when the unit is plugged in. Don't place components on metal surfaces. Don't touch anyone while grounded. Use the static shielded bags for storing components. Keep non-conductors away from components. 70 to 90 percent humidity is okay. Use ion generator if possible. Clean ESD mask regularly. And there are misconceptions of ESD electric electrostatic uh, discharge. Like people think uh, I don't use I don't use electrostatic discharge precaution because I never had this problem. I don't have time to tie myself with wrist straps. You have time for everything. You have time to practice ESD. A lot of times you don't want to do it because you don't feel like doing it. It's a simple fact. So you should always practice ESD, whether you're touching a motherboard, whether you're touching memory, whether you're touching a circuit or a particular part of the circuit, whether you're, tar you're, you're touching the, um, like, let's just say, um, a MacBook Air, you're touching the logic board for a MacBook Air, you should always practice ESD. It's very important for you, for safety. And to make sure that you don't ac accidentally electrocute any of the components. <laughs> All right. ESD is on the ACMT exam. You might be, be you might be asked two questions. If you fail one of the questions, you may fail the exam. Try to answer all the questions correctly. Always remember to follow ESD safety. It's very important because when I took the ACMT exam. I had like three questions that were ESD and I passed all of them and I had another colleague who took it and he failed the exam because he got two of the three wrong. So you have to make sure that you know what you're talking about, you know what you're doing, you know how to practice ESD and things like that. It's very important. So practice ESD. It's an example of a good tech right here. Look, he's strapping this up in. His hands are strapped in to the metal, and he's basically looks like he's replacing a motherboard. Be cautious, be careful, have the correct tools. Hardware tools, tools for Apple. Now we're going to talk about the hardware tools you should have as an Apple technician. List of tools for Mac Phillips 00 screwdriver, Phillips 00 screwdriver, Phillips 0, Phillips 1 screwdriver, Phillips number 2 screwdriver. Long-handed magnetic Phillips number one screwdriver. Long-handed magnetic Phillips number two screwdriver. Short-handed magnetic Phillips screwdriver. Stubby. The list goes on. Torx screwdrivers. 
T4 screwdrivers, T5 screwdrivers, T6, T8, T10, T15, T25. If you don't know any of these tools, just Google it when you get a chance. Go to Google.com and Google it. Magnetizer. Magnetizers are very important. If you want to magnetize your, your, your screwdriver, for example, I'm trying to look for something here. For, this is a this is this is one of the tools you use to open up a, a an iPhone 5. So I will put a piece of metal, a piece of magnetic metal right over here, a piece of magnetic right over here, and I should be able to grab the screw with, with it. So you know you should just magnetize your screwdrivers and things like that. ESD tools, ground ESD mat, ground ESD wrist strap with clip and plug. Priority tester, alligator clip, ESD storage bag. This is the hardware tool. This tool is remove is used to remove logic boards on the Mac, Mac Mini or Mini models. You'll probably see this tool on the exam along with other tools. This is this you will definitely see on the exam for taking the Apple exam. The tools that I use, this is what I use. I use uh, the iFixit toolkit. You can repair laptops. You can repair iPhones. You can repair iMac, you can repair MacBook Air and MacBook Pros with this toolkit right here. I think it's about like $60 or something like that. And it comes with the ESD strap, comes with a suction cup, comes with the, tw the tweezers to take out um, flex cables and things like that. And you have your toolkits for iPhones and MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs and laptops. This is good for laptops and phones in general. And... That's it. That concludes my video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and if you're trying to um, learn some more um, Apple lessons or ACMT lessons, just come right ahead. I, I will keep posting these videos up, and I hope you guys enjoy. You have a wonderful day, and happy Tuesday. Take care.